21-year-old Lazaros Lamprou had managed only two minutes of action in the previous six games. But making his first start since early December, he crowned it with a spectacular fourth goal of the season. No chance for the Excelsior keeper, Alessandro Dom. And a moment to remember for the young winger who's on loan from Pound. Tim Aldercott's wayward pass led him in again. Excelsior pay for that mistake. There was plenty to admire about his display. And there has been about the way Fortuna have approached life back in the top flight. They're the highest placed of this season's three promoted sides. And at the moment, at least, they look like comfortably avoiding a relegation battle. In the same way Lumpru avoided the sliding Jürgen Mate. They'd all. But rather than the youngster on loan from Spurs, it was a more experienced midfielder that got them back in the game. Six of Messaud's last eight shots had resulted in a goal. He was also the man on the spot here to convert Lorenzo Burnett's cross. Yoshella did his best, as did Ruben Ramirez on the line, but they couldn't keep it out. And that made it seven. Dimas has given the much-needed Eredivisie experience in midfield. The former Utrecht man helped the grass cap back up before moving on a free transfer. And he's also chipped in with three goals. Make that four after this. His prompting set Semedo free, and the Portuguese, who's also impressed and attracted attention from abroad, had a hand in the goal. Darman turning it back to Dimas, and that looked like being Hadri Poldebach could hardly believe they hadn't scored more. His own side continued to be out of luck right to the end, and another defensive mistake. This time a slip from Anwar Adwir led to a fourth goal in the final minute of normal time. Andrea Novakovic very effectively using Dimas as a decoy to deliver his sixth of the season. Fortuna took over in ninth place, while Excelsior ended the weekend inside the bottom three.